ahead of that, however, we present to you 12 rounds of championship boxing for the WABU Super Welterweight title between Emmanuel Quay and Frank Doji. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll welcome the two boxers into the ring. And while we do all of that, we'd like to say a very big thank you to Travel Matters and Best Max Company Limited, who are our sponsors for the evening. Also, we're live on the Joy Prime channel, which is also on 281 on DSTV, on TV Africa and IMAX International. Also, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to pay our maximum respects to the Member of Parliament for the Odududududu constituency, Neelante Van der Poy. Please put your hands together. Also here with us, ladies and gentlemen, is the royal presence of Ni Adote Otinto II, who is the Simpimanche and Mankralo of the Gar State. Ladies and gentlemen, please give him some warm applause. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we also duly acknowledge the executive of the Ghana Boxing Authority, led by Mr. Abraham Kote Nikwe. Please do a big round of applause. Also here with us, we duly acknowledge all members of the Boxing Promoters Association under the Ghana Boxing Authority, President Alex Ntiamwa, Kizito Agurago, and also Gideon Oyajo. Please put your hands together for them. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the build-up has begun to the main event of the evening. We begin with 12 rounds of championship boxing for the Wabu Super Welterweight title. At this moment, we'll welcome into the ring Emmanuel Quay and Frank Doji. Four pounds. Fighting out of the Sea View Boxing Gym here in Accra. He is a former national champion, a former Commonwealth title contender, and a former WBC international title contender with a record of 19 wins and 13 losses. Put your hands together. For the man, Frank Doji! Fighting across the ring. He comes into night weighing from the scales at 150.3 pounds and fighting under the legendary Euphoria Asari in the Wisdom Boxing Gym here in Accra with a record of six wins and six losses. Put your hands together. As we welcome Emmanuel Gwe. And now, ladies and gentlemen, in the center of all of the action will be the referee, May Mensa Akako. On our hands, it is Frank Doji against Emmanuel Kwe for the National Super Waterway Championship and also the Wabu WABU Super Waterway Championship. My guys, Pio and Mustafa, what are you saying? It is a very beautiful uh, fight bout that we have witnessed so far, but indeed Emmanuel Kwe and Frank Doji will take instructions and rules. Yes, yeah, so um, it is Emmanuel Kwe against Frank Doji. I think that uh, um, Frank Doji will come in with a lot of experience, but Emmanuel Kwe will show a lot of agility and power. I've seen him many times. Yes, he's lost about six. He's won six. Emmanuel Kwe looks good for me. Round one underway. Emmanuel Kwe fighting from the red corner in the yellow and black trunks with black blue boots. And uh, Frank Doji fighting from the blue corner with black and white trunks. And they, they size each other. Giving it a job by Frank. The body shot. So some from Frank again. Some insight into the boxers and uh, Emmanuel Kwe uh, has his global rating 494 out of 1402. He made his debut in February 2011. He's 31 years of age. As against Frank Doji, who has 32 bouts. Frank Doji really feels the power of Emmanuel Kwe and you could see already Emmanuel Kwe jabs and hooks are really snapping his head back and look at the punches already Mustafa, this getting, round is not oh, going to go far go, just getting to, to this uh, round is not going to go Frank far Doji. and Frank Doji cannot hold his own he cannot hold his own and instead of um, Emmanuel Kwe finishing the round hard he's just allowing Emmanuel Doji 
to sorry Frank Doji to come in into the fight as well. I, I think Emmanuel doesn't want to end the round so quick. He's trying to give a combination in the corner, trying to floor uh, Frank Doji. Frank Doji stays in the neutral corner and still taking the punches. Fr Frank Doji looks really. He looks wet. He looks wet up already in the first round, and I think that um, Emmanuel Kwe should take advantage of it and 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 and, and send him to the canvas. He's going to go down a pretty moment now. He sits on the rope, but he's taking a cover up here. Just a jab or a hook can get him out of this this bout. A jab, an overhead hook from Emmanuel Kwe. And Frank Doji will be will be watching on. Coming up again, Frank Doji. Is I don't know why Imanokwe was just tracking back when his opponent is looking uh, very frail. Certainly doesn't want to end the fight. He doesn't want to end the fight. He's just giving a little more breather. Uppercut to the chin of Frank Doji, and Frank Doji doesn't look like he can continue this fight because he looks weak. He looks really weak. All right, so a temporary stoppage, and the club goes for the 10 second mark. It looks, it looks like Frank Doji is just here to survive. Brilliant cover up from Frank. Least would you expect that Frank will continue this fight? Clap. And Frank Doji trying, trying to come out in the end of the round. <gasps> round two coming in the contest between Emmanuel Ikwe and, and um, Frank, Frank Doji. Doji. Frank Doji coming from the blue corner. Boxer set into the neutral corners. And so we'll have instruction being taken and everything must be cleared positively as the canvas looks a little bit crouncy. And I must, I must say that uh, Emmanuel Kwe seems to be clad in some resplendent apparel. His apparel is so resplendent. I mean... Body you know, works good one there from Emmanuel Kwe. Interestingly, wow, Frank what a hefty on. punch. What a one hefty punch. <laughs> Frank has done well by being able to stand up to that punch. But how many more of such punches can you take? A right over overhand hook landed on the chin of Frank. But but I don't know still, I don't know why Emmanuel Kwe will not follow up with another punch. Now he's wobbling. Frank is wobbling. Emmanuel Kwe must finish this fight. He must finish early. He must send Frank Doji to the canvas. I don't know why he's not landing those um, um, fighter punches. By keeps on jabbing. That's a good hook there. Another jab on the face of Frank Doji. Emmanuel Quay seems to be the strongest of the two. Referee stops fight. Oh, and and um, Zico, Zico comes to the, the towel. To, the, to the apron with a towel. He will stop towel. the fight. He says he no, he's stopping the towel. fight. He's stopping the fight, but look, says, Frank Doji says, no, he would not. He would not. And uh, technically, the referee must go to the jury because the moment the, the rules are clear, the moment the, 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 the coach so comes on the apron, Run. then yeah. it means he's, he's giving up. Yes, yes certainly. This the, is the right. Rules this works. is right. Yes, the rule, the rule the works. works now. The rule works now. Uh, the certainly. moment the trainer comes on the apron, Yes. It means that the boxer cannot continue any exactly. longer. And those are the rules. It is gone. So anytime, if you throw in the towel, they will throw the towel back to you. The only thing you can do is to stand on the apron to stop the fight. Time. Ghana Boxing Authority, Mr. Abraham Kote Nikwe, Al Haji Tofik Murtella, who is the Vice President of the West African Boxing Union, and Mr. John Muffo. Shall we put our hands together as we welcome them here into the ring? And now we wait for the announcements from the ring announcer, Nathaniel, the citizen at all.
Güzel. And now, ladies and gentlemen, after one minute and 12 seconds in the second round, a technical knockout win for the man who fights out of the Wisdom Gym here in Accra. A big round of applause as we congratulate and hail the new WABU Super Welterweight Champion, Emmanuel Quay. Hey, congratulations to you. Uh, thank you. No, I know you're fine. I get no more. My dad, no more. I guess you are doing. 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 A big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for the new champion and a message now this evening. Good evening. Good evening. The father, Utama Kenagas, GBFN, I like to figure here, some captain here, I'm on Nico Gotti, and we're going to get a different better, Miss Magata, Regos Gino, and get a different better, I can endorse you to Kennego, I know it was in here, but they want to know, to find a fight, Daddy, you wait, I want to get a young Galanoa, when you're a mom for open it, I like it, Miss Molenaka, you're a mom for open it. I like to figure here. I'm on you, here. I'm going to fight. I'm going to defend a better game. Me, Ishmael Tete. Thank you. Thank you very much. A challenge from Ishmael Tete. Me, I'm going to get a challenge from Ishmael Tete. I'm going to get a challenge from Ishmael Tete. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. A challenge thrown by Ishmael Tete to the champion. Let's see how all of it goes. And now we get ourselves ready for the very big one. 